2nd Ezra chapter 8 verse 62 these things have I not showed unto all men but unto thee and a few like thee then answer, and then answered I and said behold O Lord now that hast showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times but at what time thou hast not showed me Kahallah Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai Ba'ashim Rakakadash Brakatha Wa Brakatham to the elect and the one third of the children of Israel double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone who rule well peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing out this work with truth and sincerity also Brakatha to the Akwa who are listening as well alright and today's class will be children of the light alright it will be a quick class and uh uh, Brother Amwan, if you got more precepts to add on to this class, you're more than welcome. Khan. My name is Brother Daniela, and by my side, Brother Amwan. Khan. So, so we brought our second Ezra, chapter 8, verse 62. I'm going to read it again. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now thou hast showed me the multitude of the wonders which will began to do in the last times but at what time thou hast not showed me all right so the lord is showing his truth and showing all his wonders to a few because it cannot be done it, because it cannot be shown unto all men because of what because the majority of this world is asleep the uh the, uh, the two-thirds and these heathens who are um who are like, like living their daily lives those who were not chosen or, or 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 like uh, uh called and like like those who are not called and chosen within this truth, you know what I'm saying? They are blinded of all the um prophecies that are um uh, uh the prophecies that are manifesting on a daily basis. Okay, so the Lord um like called many to be in this truth. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But he's on, he's only going to choose a few in these last days. God, it says scripture says uh. Many are called, but few are chosen. Con, con, of course, you know. So, the Lord is going to show all His multitude of wonders um, within His last days. You know what I'm saying? And um, and Apostle Tahar, our elder Apostle Tahar, uh, like named this year, uh, um, the hasten of the coming uh, um, of the Habba Shmi Al Shai, man. So, you know what I'm saying? All these prophecies are going to hit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, all these events are happening, you know what I'm saying? And uh, tomorrow, uh, January 20th, will be the inauguration, the uh, the day that the um, that Biden will be in the White House. Okay, so anything can happen on that day, man. You know what I'm saying? Or or uh, and if nothing happens on that day, then later on this year something will happen, and it's gonna it's gonna be prophecies manifesting back to back. And we must be occupied in prophecies, but only a few will be occupied in prophecies, all right, within the correct doctrine, which is the 100% truth, the sweet and the bitter, okay? The children of light will will be occupied in, pro uh, in prophecies and also abstaining themselves from this world as well, okay? So, so um, grab Sirach chapter 23, verse 5. God. This is Sarak, chapter 23, verse 5. Turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence, mm -hmm. and thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee. Come on, come on, read that back. Verse 5. Come Turn on. away from me vain hopes and concupiscence. Come on. So turn away from me vain hopes. And like having hopes of something that is temporal in, in, on this side, man. Like, uh, like, uh, like everything on this side is temporary. So why would you have vain hopes for something that is temporal, knowing that the Lord is going to destroy it, man? A lot of people don't think that. A lot of people don't think that way. A lot of people think that things are going to go back to normal. You know what I'm saying? That that uh, uh, America will be going back to normal and society will go back to normal. What is normal? You know, all right, that is a question, man. God, no more, no more. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, people think normal is like, uh, 
is, is being wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord uh, is, is truly against those things, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like everything that's against the uh, uh, scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they think that's normal. All right? So this place got to be, like, done away with very soon, man. God. Okay? Vain hopes and concupiscence. And concupiscence means, uh, um, like, the formal, like, definition. It means uh, a strong sexual desire. And this society... And, and plus all around the world Like uh, uh, Falls under those vibes Of strong sexual desire man God. And, and, uh, Which is lust yep. You know what I'm saying And, uh, and That's one of the um, things uh, In the book of Revelations man If you, uh, if you fit that category Of uh, being effeminate Or being a whoremonger Or being uh, Or just being part of like the wickedness of the society, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the hedonism of the society, man. Like the Lord's gonna destroy you, man. And we must abstain, uh, abstain ourselves from that uh, uh, um, lustful way. Come, come that lustful way, man, because it will get you destroyed. Because lust is uh, the only sin that sin against the sin against the body. Come. Yeah, everything else is spiritual, but lust is the only sin that sin against your own um, temple, man. And and uh, and it can destroy you. Con, you're defiling you're defiling your uh temple with uh you know all these uh adulterous things you know Con. uh by going off even with the abominable things man everything that you do uh in the in the lust you know in the desires of lust is a way of uh you know defiling your body all right and also it's uh it doesn't even have to be sexual desires man it can also be of money, yep. of, of cars, of these, uh, of, of anything, like, mm -hmm. like anything you put before the Lord, and and you worship it as an idol. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is a form of lust and and also idol worship, which is iniquity, which is witchcraft, man, which is um rebellion. All right, done. You know, you know what I'm saying? So we must abstain ourselves from this world every single day. You, you got to practice every single day. And like to abstain yourself from this world, man. Like like the vain hopes and all, and having having vain hope uh, towards Esau, Edom. Like uh, like woman to you who go to uh, um, like woman to you who go to Egypt uh, like for help. So you know? The woe to you that go down to Egypt for help. Come on, come on. Yep. Uh, Isaiah thirty one and, and one. Yep. Yep. Hey, the water king. I appreciate oh, that. Come on. All right. Um, I read out down verse six. Uh, it says. And thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee. Verse 6. Let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me. And give not over me thy servant unto an impudent mind. Con. So you know how the book of Galatians says. Uh, um, like uh, if you reapeth uh, the flesh it reapeth corruption. But if you leave. Uh, but if you reap. Uh, of the spirit you, you will be life everlasting man mm -hmm. just uh, just paraphrasing you know so like if you if you uh like like uh wait read the, uh, verse 6 again God, uh let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me God. and give not over me thy servant unto impudent mind Con. so let not the uh, flesh overtake you, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, um, and also, the pure mind, meaning having a rebellious mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't give yourself into a, um, an arrogant or a rebellious mind. Like the Lord doesn't deal with carnal um, with carnal minds, but, but but a spiritual mind. Okay? So, salak your um, brethren, sisters, uh, you know... Me and the brother working long hours and I'm going through afflictions, but you know what I'm saying? But the show must go on and I'd like to edify the sheep. Alrighty? So. Con. Okay. So, um. And, uh, if I may add that, 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 uh, the word, if you grab the definition of it, uh, is, uh, impudence is, uh, shameless. Okay? Con. And, and it says, and give not over 
me thy servant into an impudent mind all right a shameless mindset all right or or you know just uh you know what will you know putting yourself in a predicament of uh you know those things of being in a lower state you know all right because uh you don't want to be in that mindset you know when it comes down to uh you know being in this truth man because that mindset could cause you to be you know uh, uh distorting the mindset God. all right distorting the head you know for lack of better words you know what i'm saying because that shameless will come upon you and and, and, and you know the scripture says to you know to not you know to not to uh uh you know give him over to that you know imputed mindset man so how 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 much more you that you you know you want to fight for not to be in a, in a situation and how you do that is to not give into those lustful ways you know God. what I'm saying because you don't want to, you don't want to be in that in that shameless or that down uh you know disrespectful uh uh mindset you know the Lord the Lord's not he's not he's not for all that man that's right you, you uh yeah, in Proverbs chapter eight verse thirteen, it said, "The fear of the Lord is to hate pride." Uh, yeah, the fear of the Lord is to hate pride, um, the pride and arrogancy. Mm -hmm. Rough for paraphrasing. Yeah, rough for paraphrasing. It's lucky, brothers. But anyways, um, okay. So, so next precept is First John chapter two verse fifteen. All right, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay, so it's um it's a strict commandment to love not the world. I mean, you currently live in this world, okay? But but the Lord says not to have any attachment to this world, okay? Because this world is uh is truly against um Yahweh Shem El Shai, and also against the Holy Scriptures, man. God. Okay, so. The world rebels against the Lord. Therefore, the uh, the world is the enemy to the Lord. Yep, yep. Okay? And if you love the world, then you are enemy to the uh, 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 to the Lord, man. Khan, y'all, bash me on shot. That's right. Okay? So it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Hmm. Verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh... The lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So if you fit any of those categories, man, okay, then you got to examine yourself and repent, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. you, you must repent from this world because sooner or later, this world is going to be condemned and you do not want to be condemned with the world. Okay? So you must ask the Lord to help you to fight the good fight of faith. So you won't be condemned with the world. You would rather be chastised by the Lord than to be condemned with the world. Because the world's going to catch ultimate judgment very soon. Mm -hmm. It's the most scariest judgment in history. All right? A time like never before. Jacob's trouble. Ezekiel 75. And evil and only evil shall come. All right? It's going to be straight evil. It's going to be no form of good of the people who are of this world. And they're going to be condemned by the Lord. And it's going to be the most scariest judgment in history. It's going to be in the books in the kingdom of heaven forever. It's going to be in the books. It's going to be in the books. All um, uh, of the great trials that the elect are going to go through mm -hmm. during, like, like during the great peril, man. Okay? It's going to, uh, a tribulation. Tribulation means great trouble. Okay? So, like, uh, you do not want to be partakers of of the wickedness of this society man god okay yep 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 because this kingdom is going down man exactly Esau kingdom is is uh falling down man all right it's coming to its uh, short destruction so with all you know said and what is with all said and done you know you want to find yourself in uh the best shape in this truth you know god. And not of those things, you know, of the wicked world that provides, you know, uh, falliness and all those things of the temptations that they, uh, per, per, you know, push out there. Exactly. And what did Morpheus say in uh, 
in the 1999 movie of uh, The Matrix. He said, "Anyone who is of the system, mm. they they are your enemy. Yep. Anyone who's of the image of the beast, the beast system is your enemy. Come on. So those who follow the um the beast system, uh, and, and follow all the uh, uh follow all the traditions of men, and 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 they are ignorant of the uh." Of the teachings of your Shema Shai, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They're going to be uh, partakers of that lake of fire. They, they they're going to be in that lake of fire, okay? God. In uh, in Revelation 14 and 9 on down to 12, okay? They're going to be a part of that lake of fire. All right, it's going to be poured without mixture. It's going to be that strong, ever clear. Uh, I believe it's like 80 proof vodka. I believe. <laughs> all right, no chase, man. The the Lord's gonna pour straight vodka, hundred percent, hundred percent, drink it all. Moonshine, man. moonshine, <laughs> man. The Lord's gonna pour moonshine on America, man. God, man. I mean, the whole like, like the whole world is gonna be destroyed by nuclear missiles, but mainly America is gonna be stubble upon stubble mm-hmm. on that day, man. That's right. And a lot of people are going to die here. Mm-hmm. Okay, billions, billions, man. All right, verse seventeen. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Mm. You see, the world's gonna pass away soon, and it's lust. All right, and you don't want to be a part of that lust. All right, and if you're a part of that lust, you're gonna be the world that passeth passeth away. And then you know what I'm saying, and the and the ones who did the will of the Lord, they're gonna see the first fruits of the kingdom, and you gotta be born through the elect. Okay, you don't want to be born through the elect, man. You want to see the first fruits. You want to see the first fruits of the kingdom. That's right. Yep. All right. So what do we do? We do the will of the Most High, man. You know what I'm saying? And we are extensions of Yahweh Shai. So we must be like Yahweh Shai to get to the Father. Come on, man. Hey, okay. uh, Yahweh Shai fasted. Uh, you know, he fasted two times a week, man. Come. To stay in the spirit, you know. And we will get to that level. Yep. Con, uh, and that's why you know the tools that we have. You know, likewise, I speak to you, brothers. I speak to myself. But first and foremost, uh, we have those tools of fasting, praying, and studying all these things to help us be better in the spirit, man. All uh, right, because these these same tools that we use now was uh once used, you know, many, many, many times before uh in the old man. All right, Con to one. this day, as we as uh, as we are brothers. And it's truth, you know, doing the will of Yah Bashman Shah. These things are being repeatedly helpful to our forefathers, man. You know, <clears throat> God, God, and 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 that is the mindset of of the elect, man, to be the children of light, to abstain yourself from this world, and do the will with truth and sincerity. God, preach that right quick. Yeah, go ahead, King. Uh, this is uh the book of uh, Galatians chapter five verse sixteen. This I say then: Walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill. The lust of the of the flesh. Con. So if you walk in the spirit, man, and and that's just pretty much abiding, you know, in in, in the will of Yahweh Shmuel Shah, then you know, the things of uh, the flesh, well, you know, you will not fulfill it, man. All right, because you're so focused on the spirit, you're so focused on on, you know, being in that in that in that right mindset. You know, the things of the flesh won't even be a desire anymore, and if they ever occur too. You have the spirit, you know, the spirit to uh, overcome those things of the flesh and desires, you know, of it. You know, this this we know as uh, as once as our elder apostles tell us they, uh, uh, um, that the, the flesh is stronger than the spirit, man. Elder Apostle Gabarz it brings that out. You know, the the, the flesh is um, is a weak, it's a weak, uh, it's a weak temple, man. You know, the spirit is stronger than the flesh. All right. And we 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 have to uh, set our minds in that in that like minded mindset. God, that's right. That's, that's right. it on that. I call it one. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, God. Can right. um, okay, you grab Romans chapter twelve, starting verse one, and stop at two. Bob Kasha. God. And then uh, and I'm gonna grab my last precept. But if you got any more precepts, then they can add on to it. Romans um, chapter twelve, verse one. Con. It says, uh, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, 
holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. God, so, so, um, so ever since we knew about this truth, you know what I'm saying, and um, and we accepted uh, the will, you know what I'm saying. We kind of did like a blood and blood out with with the Lord. So like you know what I'm saying now. You are a living sacrifice. So whatever you go through in this walk in a straight and narrow gate, we just mentioned in Matthew chapter 7, 13 and 14, you know what I'm saying? You are a living sacrifice now. Now you're doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. And so you so so you will go through afflictions great and small. You know what I'm saying? You you like you must go through pain, you must go through uh uh uh, uh, uh the fire furnace uh, like uh, the fire furnace of adversity, you know what I'm saying? That, that that's what will that's what that will make you a refined gold man it's gonna make you beautiful it's gonna make your face shine that wisdom is gonna make your face shine and then after that you know what i'm saying in um, in a world full of darkness you, you'll be that shining light like your house shine man you know what i'm saying and the world's gonna be like wow there's something different about this guy kind. there's something absolutely different about this guy you know what i'm saying and that's part of the trace of being the children of light because you know what's going on you're occupied in policies. You meditate uh, the law thereof. All right. You um, you apply the scriptures on a daily basis. You're fighting the good fight of faith. You you're showing love to the brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? The list goes on. That's right. You you're doing you you doing um you're doing everything that you can to please the Lord. You're rehearsing the righteous acts. Mm -hmm. You're keeping uh Shabbat. You're keeping all the new moons. You're doing all the high holy days at the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and abiding within uh, those things according to the will of y'all, Bash man. God. You know, that's just doing it to the best of your ability. If you if you striving, you continue to to push. You know, that's that's this that's a that's a good spirit, brothers. God, and that's the living sacrifice, man. God, brothers working long hours, uh, or like some brothers who you know. Are going through uh, some trials and tribulations, man. Mm -hmm. But the Lord's dealing with them, man, and and uh, and those brothers still do the will of the Father, man, at the best of their ability, uh, 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 according to the level of their faith. You know what I'm saying? And and they are diligent at the best of their ability. Okay. Uh, verse two. God, it says, and be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Come on, he said, "Be not conformed to this world." All right, be not in, uh, uh, like uh, like be not of this world, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, like don't tangle yourself with this world. Uh, abstain from this world. Come on. All right, like we said many times, like uh, like you would rather be chastised by the Lord than be. Than to be condemned with the world, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so be not conformed to this world, man, and let these scriptures have the renewal of your mind. God, all right. That ye may prove that is that good, and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh by uh, Yahweh. So like it, God. So uh, it's a good and perfect will of Yahweh, man. You know what I'm saying? By by staying from this world, by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And also taking heed to the scriptures and, and, and to and, um, like and to apply those scriptures within your life. That's the perfect will of the Most High, Yahweh. Con. All and, right. You know, oh, 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 I got a precept like unto that. Con, go ahead. Uh, First Corinthians, ch uh, chapter chapter six. We're gonna start at verse nineteen. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, Con. which is in you? Which ye have of Yahweh, and ye are not your own. All right. So these bodies that we have right now, Amen. They're they're not even ours, man. God. All right. They're of the Lord, man. That's right. All right. Yahweh Bashmah Shai, man. And we have to remember that, hey, right now we're 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 rolling with the Spirit, man. All right. The Lord is our uh, adoring these uh, ador un adoring these things, man. God. All right. Uh, uh, verse 20 it says for ye are bought with a price that's right therefore glorify Yahweh in your body and in your spirit which are Yahweh's alright and that's plain speech man alright and how do we glorify the Lord by doing the will of Yahweh keeping the laws and statutes and commandments doing the things 
you know, uh, uh, that was set up upon us to, for us to do, man. All right. Being that, uh, you know, uh, 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 being that, um, uh, perfect, perfect, acceptable, uh, um, you know, a uh, man in this truth, man. All right. Doing the things that he has set us up to do. All right. And, and, and it, is, it, it, you know, scriptures speak for themselves, man. Right. We have to, we have to be that, uh, that good, reasonable service, man. Ah. All right. For the Lord. Acceptable and perfect will of your how about Shemel shot. All right, we have to do those things. Okay, con, con. That's right. it on that. All right, I'm gonna grab the last piece up. If you have any more, let me know. All right, so this is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse one. But of the times and of and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief of the night. Mm. All right, so we know. For a fact that the the day of the Lord will come as a thief of the night, those who are um, in these scriptures, those who are um, like uh, like those who are occupied in prophecies, you know what I'm saying? And uh, what's that scripture? Second Ezra nine. Uh, Second Ezra uh, measuring that time yeah, diligently. Yeah, measuring the time diligently uh, uh, in itself. Yeah, we're measuring the time diligently on a daily basis with these news apps. You know what I'm saying? Come. Uh, uh, like social media people on um, like reposting like uh like news um like news outlets of what's going on you know what uh, I'm saying and um and you know like CNN you know and, like CNN and Fox you know you, you know all these uh stuff that's on the internet man you know what I'm saying taking advantage of these things that we have the opportunity of man exactly you know so we know that the day of the Lord is coming so a lot of people don't know the day of the Lord. And, and of course, we don't know the day of the Lord, but we but we know by measuring the times diligently in itself. Come on, man, being very circumspect. Exactly. All right. Verse three: For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay. Mm. So right now, a lot of us are in peace and safety at the moment. Okay. But most who don't know on. Uh, who don't know about this truth, you know what I'm saying? They think they're safe, and they they um, and and they also think that that they're in peace. Those who are in darkness, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They don't care about the things that uh, that the elites are doing. They just care about on the um on the next paycheck, or you know you know or uh, or caring about um like a like some girl, or you know what I'm saying? Or caring about the wrong things like football and hockey and. Baseball, like, baseball, like they care about the wrong things right now, but but they don't care what's going on, what's about to happen very soon here in America. Con. They're blinded, and they're in darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse four. But ye brethren, are not in darkness, that they should overtake you as a thief. That that they um. But let me repeat that. Verse four. But ye brethren, are not in darkness. That that day should overtake you as a thief. So we're not in darkness. So 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 when the day of the Lord comes, we're not gonna be shocked or, or marveled. Okay. So when that day of the Lord comes, and uh, if you were doing what you're supposed to be doing, and you, and you were diligent, the Lord, uh, um, the day of the Lord will not shock you. It's uh, um, it's going to like uh, like uplift you. God, you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna be in the spirit of uh, of knowing the God. times, man. That's right. All right, you're gonna have the spirit of you know going into the way y'all by shot, you know, to discern the times of, that that will be coming to the head because you you have the scriptures, man. You gave it the comforter. That's right. All right, and and ultimately that that is gonna be a reason why when that day uh, approaches, you're gonna be comforted because you have the comfort which is of y'all by shmal shot. All right, these things gave you the heads up, pretty much. Kind of one, and uh, and that and that day you will rejoice. Yeah, but a lot of people will mourn. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse five: Ye are, ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of nor of darkness. Mm. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Mm. All right, like the brother said, um. Being circumspect in these last days, all right, making sure that we watch for those things, man. Because when we watch for those things, knowing that you know, uh, 
we're a day closer to the kingdom and also closer to the day of the Lord by being circumspect of what we do and also and um and uh um and also measuring the time diligent in itself. God man, being vigilant, you know. God. Uh uh being being that watchman like we you know we're supposed to be, man. God, that's right. All right, verse seven, for they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, mm. and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. All right? Come on. Come on. You know, hey, hey, you know, that pretty much let those ones who dwell in the darkness, man, let them continue to be in that darkness, man. All right? That's right. Let those ones do, do, do as they please right now, man, because right now uh, 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 the Lord has set us up to do those things. According to you know, you know the will of Yahweh Shmuel Shot. You know what I'm saying. So uh, bring that back for me one more time. Con verse eight. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, mm -hmm. and for an helmet the hope of salvation. All right, and that hey, the scripture speaks for itself, man. And that's what brothers are doing right now, man, because we know that time is approaching closely and, and closely. All right. And we we're seeing these things by by the spirit that is put on us, brothers. You know that's why you see classes being put out uh, every day, man. You know because we we we're, we're coming into a, a time um, like never before. All right, and we, we we're getting geared up, man. All right, putting on that 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 breastplate, man, of faith. That's right. Gearing up, man. Come on, and we're gearing up early. We're gearing up early. So we can be saved, so we can have that hedge, um, and that's a part of hoping of salvation. Is is hoping that the Lord will put that hedge over you when all hell breaks loose. Con, man, all right. That, that that refuge, that fortress, man. Con, that's that right. protection, that pavilion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you got any more to add? No, that's it on that. Bro. All right. So, so that's the end of that. I hope you were edified, and if you are edified, uh. If you were edified by this class, then then we edified the elect. All right. So call Allah. Yahweh. Ba'ashim. Yahweh. Ba'ashim. Ka'kadash. Till next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.